It's a series that's always been at home on PC. We built it on PC at the beginning of time, back when uh, we were working on Origins. And with Inquisition, we've kind of kept that legacy. So the Combat HUD was created specifically for PC, so it gives a lot of the maneuverability that you want as a PC player. The tactical camera in pause and play is just like you would expect from Origins. You'll be super, super pleased with it, but it, it just creates a nice interface to interact with the world. I just turned 40 this year, so I think it's safe to say I've been gaming on PC for at least 30 years. I think with Inquisition in particular, we've done a pretty good job of keeping a lot of the surprises under wraps, but how they all fit together and, and how the story plays out I think is going to surprise some folks. So for me, there's that quiet anticipation of going, oh, that's, that's really cool. Let's, let's see who finds it. We said, so we're going to do quadrupeds, and they said, oh, you can't do that. You can't have four-legged creatures in this thing. It won't work. And we said, well... We know, but we need dragons, we need bears, we need horses. It's been fun to talk to the other teams that support Frostbite and are part of the Frostbite team because they've had, I think, a lot of fun helping us push the boundaries of the engine to do things like that that were never use cases for the original. At PAX, not this year, but last year, the first time that we ever showed the game live, we didn't tell anybody that we were coming. And I remember sitting in that auditorium just like shaking. And I was sitting next to my friend Mark and he was just laughing because I was shaking hysterically because it was like just about to go on screen and you know things weren't quite right, the audio didn't come on and then it finally started playing and you know we hit A and it just went smooth as silk. It's amazing and to see the smiles and laughs and, and tears around me as people are playing through, like it's, yeah, it's a great feeling.